fourth film, I don't really know how I feel about it. But there is one thing for certain I can definitely say about it. And that's the cinematography is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Yeah, I want to I want to I want to jump into the review of this film. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start that. Let's let's get into that right now, folks. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to review the film Never Gonna Snow Again, which is going to be opening in theaters July 30th, starting in New York, and then it will hit the other side of the United States in LA starting August 6th. Yeah, so I had a chance to check out this film early, and I didn't know much about it. I did see some notable names in it that I was like, hey, I remember that person, uh, Alec Otgolf, who's from um, Stranger Things. He's your lead in this film, and I definitely wanted to kind of see him in that capacity, and I do think that he did a fantastic job in his role. But my biggest question with this film was I really didn't understand the purpose. Like, I kind of get a glimpse of the message that's trying to be told in it, but overall, it's like the idea of what's the overall purpose of making a film and what what is it that um, the filmmakers want the viewers to take from this film. And I, and I do have a sense that his character, uh, Xenia, who uh, is, you know, ambitious. He, he as a child, he had goals and I'm gonna come I'm, gonna, I'm skimming over it a little bit. I'll come back to it. But he had goals. He had desires. He believed in himself and to kind of see him chase that all the way to his adulthood. Like I can relate to that. Because especially some of the things that he dreamed of being as a kid, I think we all maybe have been that way at one point of our life. But um, so he's a masseur and he goes into this rich gated community where he's able to practice. And not only that, he's able to make some money, but ultimately he makes significant change because his patients are people who's dealing with all sorts of issues. Uh, one dealing with actually um uh medical issues in regards to uh um uh illnesses uh some dealing with mental disorders uh some people just probably just a little lonely but either way he has magical hands because uh not only is he able to uh you know really relax them and loosen muscles and, you know everything that a masseur does um he also practices hypnosis and his his treatment has been magical as they will like to say um and so <laughs> with him being such a hot commodity in this town is also starting a little bit of beef or a little bit of envy going on around because everybody wants his services frequent and everybody is aware of his magical abilities and like yeah when he was a child he thought he had magic in his hands and maybe was disregarded but as an adult now we see that he actually does whether it's you know quasi magical or whether it's really is something that's going on he still is uh providing uh amazing services to his clients uh so the interesting thing with this story is that uh while we see him really dishing out a lot of positivity outwards it kind of seems like there's some mysteriousness behind him like even to a point that i almost thought this was a horror film because he was so mysterious along with with the score you really thought something like crazy at any moment was going to happen, but it, it never got to that. And even with this film being two hours long, which I'm not a fan of, the last like 20 minutes or so definitely was like a, wait, something's about to happen type of ordeal because it almost felt like extra content for the, the main core of this movie. Like it almost was just like, what's the purpose of this? But then that's where that extra purpose definitely uh, was significant to really provide to the viewers like what's the overall message that the story is telling and that's when i started to grasp like okay so he was a child who you know believed in himself and maybe others believed in him maybe they didn't but it didn't stop him from pursuing his goal and to make an impact in the people around him so uh with him coming from a uh you know from a from a a, 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 a lower community or lower financial community should we say um, and with him being Russian and he's going to this Polish town, his accent also comes off of him just being different. So like it was it was definitely ultimately a challenge for him to step into this world, to be accepted and to make a change. So like again, like it's 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 super interesting to kind of see how he maneuvers in this scenario 
and how he makes uh, the relationship he does and the the <laughs> the questionable like i ain't gonna say questionable because it never really got that i'm trying to like not really give too many spoilers here but like there definitely was times where things got kind of heightened and you kind of was wondering where it was going to go and it really didn't go the predictable route so like you really are intrigued to see what this character does in a change of man. and then the other thing here never going to snow again i kept questioning what do you mean by snow and it's really metaphorical in, in regards to what the snow actually means in this. I don't want to give it away because I feel like that will ultimately take away the purpose of watching the film. But there's something really metaphorically about the idea of what snow presents in this film. Yes, there's like a literal like meaning for the snow, but there's also a metaphorical way, uh, in which I feel like they're implying when they talk about never going to snow again. But I will say, on the contrary to like uh, to the American audience here, that you know, never gonna rain again, because we always like to uh, like to uh, you know when we talk about rain, we always kind of take that as like a you know like a sour day or like a bad day, a low day, a negative day, whatever you want to consider it as. So like it's like oh for a rainy day, for a bad day, and I think snow is being equated to that because snow actually isn't snow it's ash and when you think about where they're at and the significance of what ash and you know all the different things especially in regards to russia chernobyl and all that other stuff when you think ash you absolutely think of something negative so when you say it's never going to snow again you're never going to have bad days again it's because he chased his goals to really achieve what he wanted to make for a better future that's where i just gave it to you that's what i think the purpose of this film was trying to say but yeah but more importantly i want you all to check this film out because i want to know your interpretations um and, and what you really derive from watching this film because i definitely think it's interesting the performances are really good um uh, and it's a very intriguing story that 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 is going on here so yes this is never going to snow again it will be in theaters july 30th and then ultimately uh in la august 6th jump in a comment folks let me know your thoughts about this film and as always folks i see you around very soon for more reviews